I hope you all are fine. Today, I am going to start a new chapter that is editing a worksheet. Now, we have uh, done in the previous chapter, we have read about the uh, Excel, about Excel, what is an Excel? We all know Excel is a uh, application, is an application software. It is a spreadsheet and uh, it helps us in maintaining huge calculations. We also read about the workbook and the worksheet. So today's lesson or today's chapter, we are going to learn how to edit a worksheet. Now, the first thing, what is the meaning of editing? Editing means you want to modify or make changes in the data. That is called editing. Either you want to insert data or you want to delete some data. That is called editing. Now the first thing to remember is that whenever you want to edit any data, first thing is that you have to select the text or a cell or whichever data you want to modify. Now, active cell. Now, what is an active cell? Now, active cell is whichever cell you are working on. Where whichever cell you are working on, that means you have to take the mouse pointer and click on that cell. When you click on that cell, you will see that the cursor keeps blinking over here. That means it is the active cell. Clear? children okay now the next thing is how to select the uh, cell or the data uh, for making a uh, particular for making any particular changes in that particular cell or data how can you select one uh, first thing is that when you double click you take the mouse pointer and uh, double click on this cell. When you double click on this cell, you will see the entire cell gets highlighted. That means your cell or your text that you want to modify has been selected. Or you can do one thing is to simply click on the cell and drag it. Just do a single click and drag on the cell. You will see it gets selected the uh, entire text or cell gets selected and then you can do your editing. Now, how can we select a range of non-connecting cells? Suppose, what is a range of non-connect, uh, non, sorry, what is a range of connecting cells? So, how can we select a range of connecting cells? Now, what are these connecting cells? If you see, suppose column D we are taking. So over here you see the cells, they are very much connected to each other. They are not separated, they are connected to each other. These are called connecting cells. Now how can you select these cells? It's very simple. Just click or select the first cell. First you select the first cell, then holding the left mouse button, you just simply drag it. When you drag it, you see the entire, all the cells, the uh, entire column gets highlighted or it changes into blue color. That means the entire connecting cells are selected. So this is how you can Select the connecting range of connecting cells. Now, if you want to select non-connecting cells, so how will you select? First thing, uh, non-connecting cells are like, suppose this is one cell, then you want to select one cell over here or you want to select one cell over here. So how will you select these non-connecting cells? First, Select the 
first cell and then press and hold the control key from your keyboard when you hold the control key from your keyboard click the non connecting cells that you want to select so after you finish clicking release the mouse button uh, release the control key so after you finish clicking on those non connecting cells release the control key from your keyboard your you, if you will see that the non connecting cells are selected so this is how the non connecting cells are selected now you want to select the entire worksheet how will you do simply for selecting the entire worksheet you have uh, the select all option now the select all option will help you that is select all option it will help you to select the entire worksheet if you press on this option it helps you to select the entire worksheet or you will see a blank cell right the first blank cell you will see over here if you click on this blank cell you will see the entire worksheet is getting selected so these are the two ways you can select the entire worksheet now the next is selecting a row or selecting a column suppose you want to select this row 6 so if you select this row 6 how are you going to select this entire row very simple you just have to click on the row header what is you will see the number the number that is the row header that is row 6 if you simply click on the row header you will see that the entire row gets selected so the same way if you want to select one column entire column same way you have to select the column header so what is the column header here e column e is the column header so simply uh, click on this column header you will see the entire column gets selected so this is how you can select a row a row and a column now how can you change or modify or edit the entire data or uh, edit the data partially how will you do it suppose i have a text written ruchika here now i want to uh, remove this text and write add something else so i want to remove this entire data how can i do it simply select the cell after you selecting the cell after you finish selecting the cell from your keyboard type or enter the new data and then press the enter key when you press the enter key you will see the new data that you have uh, typed uh, from your keyboard has been entered uh, uh, has replaced the old data for example i have ruchika written here now instead of ruchika i, I want the word vishal to be written here so i select this ruchika text the cell i fully select and then start typing from my keyboard the word vishal and then press the enter key i will see that the old data or the old text has been replaced by the new text so this is how i can change the entire data now how can i change the data partially suppose i have vishal over here and okay suppose i have vishal over here and then i want to add something over here to this text that means i want to change the data partially so what will i do 
simply click on the cell and with the help of the arrow key your arrow key you move the cursor or the pointer of the mouse till the end of the text so the end of the text the cursor comes here with the help of your arrow key and then start typing from your keyboard suppose i want to add khanna so i clicked i simple just one click i clicked the mouse pointer here and with the help of the arrow key i moved the uh, i moved the uh, cursor with the help of the arrow key till the end of the text that is risha and then i started typing this text from the keyboard so you will see uh, that the entire data or uh, ha ha the entire data has been changed partially so this is the way how can we change the data partially and this is another way how can we change the data the entire data so these are the two ways how can you edit your data one is to edit the entire data and one is to edit the data partially so children i hope you have understood uh, uh today's topic so the next class we are going to continue with the rest of the chapter thank you